Visiting the murder scenes on Union Hill Road, Attorney General Mike DeWine was asked about reports of a thousand bucks in dollar bills left on one of the bodies. He would neither confirm nor deny. Because then you get into, okay, something is, you know, partially true, it's, it's not true. Uh, you get into all that. So let me, let me just say, we're just not going to comment. The road remains blocked six days into the investigation, DeWine refusing to say if other drugs besides marijuana were found. Leonard Manley, father of one of the murdered victims, came down to alert deputies about relatives arriving. Brittany Barker walked her dog Milky Way down the road where she has lived and known the rodents for 17 years. Hers is the first house you come to on Union Hill. Right now, because the police are here and then they're up there and, you know, um, I feel safe right now, but when they leave, I mean, yeah, I'm going to be kind of scared. DeWine says the rodents, for whatever reason, were targeted and that this investigation will be atypical, methodical, and lengthy. This is an old-fashioned, cold-blooded, calculated massacre of eight human beings. Relatives were permitted past the media roadblock on Union Hill. Brittany Barker headed back after talking with us, saying it feels strange now, very different along this road. It's hard on my boys because they rode the bus with Curtis. Sheriff Reeder was here at the command center as well with Mike DeWine, uh, DeWine saying he is going to meet with the Roden family to determine what their wishes are with regard to safety and protection at the funerals, the first of which starts tomorrow. Reporting live in Waverly, John London, WWT News 5.